Troy, the Grand Fondo race, bicycle race here in Cache Valley, turned into a really big deal. Yes, it really has, and I think part of it is because of our cause. Um, you know, it's to raise money for breast cancer uh, screenings, but it's also to raise awareness about breast cancer in general. Okay, and you were one of the founders of this. How did you get involved in it? Um, yeah, I'm the race director and, and really the founder. Um, and the way we started is I pulled together a big group of uh, local riders, um, people who have been racing and riding for a long time. And, and the question was, how do we create a, a great event for the Valley? Something that hasn't been done before and doesn't compete with the other great rides like the Cash Century and Logan to Jackson, but is more of a support. And um, Grand Fonda was kind of a new concept back then and, and it had just come to the United States. And so one of the people suggested, let's try to do a Grand Fondo and bring race and recreational riders together seem to make a lot of sense and so that's sort of how the origin started. Okay and so you say it came to the United States where did it come from and what does actually Gran Fondo mean? Well Gran Fondo is actually Italian for big ride and the origin of it is in Europe where the, the biking communities are just intense. Um, if I wanted to start and go and do a ride I'd have a hard time getting in. Um, it's mainly only racers and so the Gran Fondo concept is let's put together an event and bring racers and recreational riders and create an epic event and that's what the Grand Fondo is and so we're kind of following that tradition here in the United States. Okay and so you say it's grown over the last three years how many people are you anticipating in the race this year? We, we hope to have about a thousand um, we've had really almost double growth we had about 400 and then about 750 and now we're hoping to have about a thousand this year. And are they all from Cache Valley or do they come from all over? No actually we have people from all over about about 60 percent of the riders are from Cache Valley um, but we have people from Ogden, Salt Lake along the Wasatch Front. In fact, we just got a great email from somebody from Trinidad and Tobago who's going to travel, leave the islands, and come up to go for a bike ride. Wow. They do 100 miles in the mountains. So That's a long way to yeah. go for a bike ride. Uh, who are your sponsors for this event? Wow, we have so many sponsors. Um, we have a lot of local bike shops. Owls has been a big sponsor of us from the very beginning. Um, Joyride Bikes, uh, Wimmers. Uh, we also have had uh, Sportsman's been a big part of this as well. They've reached out to Raleigh. Raleigh is providing a free bike. so um, And it's not just for the fastest rider. It'll be random draw. Um, free Motion has provided one of their Tour de France spin bikes. This is one of the most advanced bikes uh, training bikes in the world and um, so that will go to a to a lucky rider and it won't be the fastest it'll be kind of random Camp Chef has done the same thing we have a lot of Camp Chef items that we'll be giving to people um, wow there's just uh, there's so a many of people that They're you need to thank how about people here at the hospital um, I've got a great volunteer crew to put something like this together you have to have at least 100 150 people wow. so um, you know my assistant Tammy Sally has just been fantastic she's helped with registration um, and uh, Sterling Morris and Tina Murray and Erica Darley and Ramona Fonsbeck, the number, I mean, just keeps going on and on. There's there's a good solid team of committee members who are who are helping us pull it together. So a good, just in case we've forgotten anybody, yes. a big thanks to everybody. Yes, thank you, absolutely. <laughs> now, um, for those unfortunate ladies that think um, they need to be, well, not unfortunate because they need to be screened, but people, all all ladies need to be screened for mammograms. There are the unfortunate few here in the valley that don't have insurance. Yes. How would they get hold of you and get access to the funds for this? Well, it's it's actually really simple, just like anyone else would. You'd contact our mammography unit here at the hospital um, and uh, let them know that either you don't have insurance or your insurance wouldn't provide the screenings. Um, they're able to just fill out the forms and get, get the process rolling. So it, we try to make it very simple and, and really we want to encourage women who are over 40, that's what the recommendation is, that if they haven't had a mammogram to get screened. And, you don't have to just come to our hospital. It's just get a screening. This is a program that is just supported here at our hospital. Okay, so a great idea to help local people especially. And if you do feel that you need a mammogram and screening for it, please contact the mammography department here at the hospital yep. and they will be able to help you. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Well, good luck with the race. Thank you. And thanks ever so much for this interview. You're welcome. Thank you.